Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insaney, and I am a comedy musician and a comedy music fan. And this week, I am reacting to the princess rap battle of Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey. I wanted to wait until I actually saw the movie before seeing the princess rap battle video, and I finally have. I've also, it was a couple weeks ago when I saw it, but I'm finally getting to this. Uh, this is uh, one of, another one of Whitney Avalon's princess rap battles. Yes, I realize that Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey aren't princesses, and that the name was made when they were doing princess battles, but it's kind of evolved past that, but because of brand recognition, they keep the name. I get that. I understand that. I kind of said something about it last time, but I, I'm, I was made aware. Uh, anyway, regardless, Mary-Kate Wiles is uh, another of the performers on this, uh, and this is just another uh, rap battle that they do, but apparently this has, like, some sort of brand deal with the movie, which is cool, uh, I think. Uh, I heard that somewhere, maybe Whitney's post on uh, Twitter or something like that. But anyway, we're going to check this out, see what this is all about. Of course, it might help if I was actually recording what's going on here first. <laughs> now I am, and now it's popped up on your screen. We. This video is sponsored by Warner Brothers. Sponsored by Warner Brothers. There you go. Princess rap battle. Okay, no princess. They Starting tore it off. Me. Harley freaking Quinn. No swearing for some Jones reason. Girl. Actually, we broke up. It was very new. And I am not at all upset. <laughs> Subtle. Come and pay your respects. I am crazy. Complex. You have this anarchist protagonist that a villainous ex. It all started back when I was Dr. Harleen Quinzel, Arkham's clinical psychologist that just is. I fell for a felon. Clearly criminally insane. And then I fell into a vat that changed my skin tone and my name. I may have lost my mind, but now I'm back on the grind. This little monster's free and she's no longer defined. The flow is amazing. Uh, I guess that's Mary Kay Wiles. She's awesome. Uh, she's got the the persona down. It's great. I guess uh, Warner Brothers said no swearing. That's why she said freaking instead of the other thing. Um, but the sets are great. I guess that's what happens when you get a sponsorship. Cool. Not to say that the sets are ever bad in the other Princess Rap Battles, far from it, they're great, but these seem more authentic than usual, I guess? I don't know, maybe I'm just looking too far into that. But anyway, these bars are great. Uh, it's very much less of a battle so far. I don't know who she's battling, but she's talking about who Harley is. We all know who Harley is, if you haven't. Go see the movie, it's really good! Anyway, yeah. Truth. Been through denial, oppression, bargaining, and now I'm just pissed. I'm putting do what I wanna at the top of the list. I've never been a quitter because my heart's full of glitter. No <laughs> one can stop me. <laughs> nice. Nice transition. Okay, so it's... As spoiler alert, it seems like this is just going through what happens in the movie. I like that, actually. It's really cool. So it's not really a rap battle, it's just a more of a cipher, really. Because I think the next character might be Huntress. Just a wild guess. Unintentional rhyme. Yep, Whitney doing her best uh, Mary Elizabeth Winstead. <laughs> who are you? Do you know who I am? I literally just asked, so no. Oh, call me Huntress. The daughter who uncannily survived the brutal massacre when mobsters killed my family. So now I pay respects with every shot that connects. Badass assassin putting bolts through their necks. A smoke show with a crossbow and I constantly embarrass these bozos who oppose the secret Burton Ellie heiress. Payback's my motive and my methods are vicious because these spaghetti slurping slimeballs about to sleep with the fishes. I'm Whoa, again, great flow. I don't know how many bars are, are, are jokes. Yet yeah, there's a couple decent lines in Harley's stuff, but so far they're they're just talking about who they are. Again, a cipher. Uh, a, there's a train going by. Sorry. Uh, again, this is more of a cipher rather than a 
uh, battle, per se. And again, uh, I said uh, at the beginning, she, she said freaking, but this lists it as explicit in the title, so maybe they say some F-bombs later. Whatever. Sorry if you can pick up the uh, train out there. I can't do anything about that because this is when I record and everything's live. Sort of. Murder mafioso mofos and I'm out for revenge. See, that kind of moxie means we gotta be friends. <laughs> I don't really have friends. Well, you do now, honey. Oh, let's go get some drinks bought with someone else's money. There we go. It's a good gag. The sets are great. It really looks like they're just going through the movie. I mean, it's not the actual movie sets, but it's a really good approximation. We got Black Canary. That's awesome. Bartender, a couple shots. Put it on Roman's tab. Make a three. Dinah, how you been? What the cat dragged it. I haven't seen you since the split. How you holding up, Quinn? Fantabulous and fabulous. Full a reference to the title, the old title. That my boss wants you dead. What else is new? But without your ex's protection, he'll peel that pretty face up for his private collection. Oh, so now you belong to Mr. Roman Sionis? That spoiled rich dick who only wishes he owned this. <laughs> okay, okay, so this is just going through the plot of the movie. I don't have a problem with that. This is great. There's a lot of really good ciphers that go through and just follow the plot of whatever they're rapping about. It's a, it's kind of a common thing in nerdcore. Some people call those Wikipedia songs, and sometimes they are, and sometimes they're not. They're really kind of going through a lot of the cool references that you would see in the thing, just in song form. Devo Spice and a bunch of rappers, uh, myself included, did one for Into the Spider-Verse called Spider-Verses, because what else are you going to call a rap song with a bunch of spider personas? based on the Spider-Verse, but Spider-Verses, I really like that title, uh, where each of us played a different Spider-Man persona. He played the original Peter Parker, I played Peter B. Parker. Uh, Creative Mind Frame played Miles Morales. We had Lex the Lexicon artist as Penny Parker. Yeah, Penny Parker. We had uh, Bonnie Gordon from the Library Bards as uh, Gwen Stacy, Spider-Gwen. The Great Luke Ski was Spider-Man Noir. Uh, TV's Kyle was uh, Spider-Ham. And we all did verses kind of like that followed the plot of the movie, but kind of like were for each of our own characters. And that's really what they're doing here. Uh, Megaran and MC Lars had their Dewey Decibel system where they did songs about books, and they did Watchmen, where each of them, as well as a bunch of other rappers, uh, played characters from the Watchmen comic and book. Um, not so much the movie, but kind of the movie, because the, the movie kind of follows the comic really closely. Not the TV show, because that's a sequel to it. I'm getting too much into that, and we should get back to the song. Uh, but anyway, check out the MC Lars, Mega Ran, MC Frontalot, Shaver the Dark Lord, Kel Chris, and Miss Eve's track, Watchmen. That's really great. And the Devo Spice song, Spider Verses. That might be in the end credits here. But anyway, uh, stuff. Set your somber tyrant, set your sitting, waiting my turn. Thinking someday soon I'll have to wise up, rise up and burn. This whole crooked, wicked criminal club to the ground. I swear on my mama's grave, I wanna clean up this town. And this vocal is crescendos, you know that I am foes. I'm the fountain baddest mom, so that can shatter glass windows. I'm tough, but can't make enough change on my own. I don't see why you should have to do it alone. It's really, really nice bars here, man. They, they really great flow. It kind of really moves the story forward. It, it, it definitely tells what each character is about. I dig it a lot. It's really, really good. Sure, like you take my side if I decided to quit. Yep, and my mobster killing friend here is fucking legit. You know, there we go. For soprano, I haven't wanted to whack. <laughs> I just uh, had to have a gun like you watching my back. I swear to Zod, we have three peas in a pod. A girl gang in Gotham, we please plumb a squad. It's a lot of good kind of deep references in these lines here. For Soprano, I haven't wanted to whack. Obviously, mob stuff. Uh, and I swear to Zod, instead of God, from the whole Superman angle. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. I really dig it. Can we form a squad? It's a Suicide Squad reference, but not quite, obviously. I think the next line will pick up on that, and we'll find out. Yes. <laughs> good. I'm sorry. Some people think I pause too much. Whatever. Alright, Quinn, I'm in. Sweet, what's the plan? We send them a message and stick it to the man. Oh, Roman. Uh-huh. You got dirt on that jerk? Years of it. Perfect. This might actually work. He'll be here soon. There's no time to waste. Having friends
chase. Roman Sionis, Black Mask. Ewan McGregor in the movie is great. They all are. Everybody in the cast is fantastic in the movie. Slipped in the Mickey. This is a little different than what happens in the movie. They flip the script on the ending. Wake up, Roman! Good morning! Pay attention, dipshit! This is your only warning! Oh, why does he look so grumpy? He looked prettier if he smiled. Possible person nice. who name dropped as a child. If you want him dead, I'll make it look like a hit. Hell, I smoke this truck myself, but I've been trying to quit. No, this will be a blast. We don't have to hold back. Just a one sided battle rap emancipation district. <laughs> Here's where the battle rap comes in. They're they're battling him, but he's muzzled. What an original gangster, big fan. Gotta ask, are you the first student got him to hide behind a black mask? Consider this my resignation. I'm done working for freaks. You don't get two weeks. Y'all can kiss both cheeks. And probably <laughs> that little scarred up spaz. That stick of fancy. This is really all they have. You're a self-obsessed narcissist, a thin skin coon who went bankrupt while choking on daddy's silver spoon. Here's the message, Sionis. Let us be perfectly clear. Stay out of our way, or you might disappear. I'm Again, I don't know why they say freaking. Dust and the jokes on you. I'm crazier and fearless than a goddamn guarantee. All of Gotham scared of you when they should be scared of me. <laughs> be interesting if the movie ended that way. A, a little more tame. Now what? You wanna go see a movie? <laughs> and then movie plug. That was great. This video is still sponsored by Warner Brothers. <laughs> this video is still sponsored by Warner Brothers. That was great. Again, not so much a rap battle as a, well, like they said, a diss track against Sionis where they spend the most of the part of the song describing who they are. Uh, they left out a couple characters, obviously, because th the cast is large. They mentioned Zaz in the song, which is uh, in the movie. Sionis is black, uh, right hand man. I almost said Sionis is black mask, because Sionis is the black mask. Uh, no, he's uh, Victor Zaz is uh, his right hand man. Again, a character from the comics. They left out uh, Cassie Kane, who is kind of like the whole plot point of the movie and very different than she is in the comics, but whatever, it's an adaptation. They change stuff, it's what happens. Uh, and they also left out uh, Montoya, uh, Detective Montoya, played by Rosie Perez. Uh, but regardless of that, this was fantastic. This was a really great uh, uh, rap. I really enjoyed the bars in it. Uh, again, uh, not a whole lot of uh, jokes per capita in each line, but still very entertaining, very nerdcore. I really dig it. Uh, it was good stuff. It was, it was very entertaining. Uh, the sets were great. Everything looks awesome. I wish you could get Warner Brothers to back me doing something. Uh, but <laughs> regardless, this was awesome. I really dug it. From a comedy standpoint, I wish there were more jokes. There were some really good lines, but nothing that really made me laugh out loud too much. Some clever stuff. Not some out loud funny stuff. But regardless of that, if you want to check out the video for yourself, the link will be in the description. But also, please go give Whitney Avalon some love and check out her channel. She's got a lot of great stuff there, not just Princess Rap Battles. She's got some all, she has all sorts of great songs, some all sorts. I speak goodly. Uh, she has all sorts of great songs there that you should check out. And if you like what I do, please consider giving me a like, sharing this video with your friends, leaving a comment, or subscribing. Plus, I have a Patreon where if you help back me on Patreon, I can make more videos like this, make more of my own music videos. You get to see all of that stuff early, plus you get some cool exclusives. Anyway, that's enough of me babbling and rambling. We'll see you next time. Goodbye! Hi, I'm Pete. It's sure nice to meet ya. I fight super villains when I'm not eating pizza. I'm just like that last guy, though my hair is much darker. My driver's license says my name is Peter B. Parker. Those starker in contrast, we're really quite alike. My gut's a little larger, but of the two, well, I'm alive. But if a girl gets kidnapped, then she turns out a man. Well, I'm another friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Thought I was alone, not just because MJ left me.